Welcome to CTM File. I'm Craig Jeffrey, and this educational session will look at some of the statistics for gross domestic product across uh, regions, uh, areas, divisions, and countries, looking at the G7 and the G20. Understand the relative size of regions, uh, countries, uh, matters for how an organization looks to expand or change their, their trade behavior, their buying behavior. Uh, also understand what might be going on on a geopolitical level with uh, the G7, G20, uh, trade issues, um, if there's wars that are breaking out, understanding the relative impact on the global economy and how the global economy is changing all matter and factor into some of the plans that organizations need to make for their businesses and how they'll incorporate that data. So let's get started. First, we'll look at GDP by continent. So you can see the bright colors for the different regions. In North America, you see 31.4 trillion, uh, made up of the, the, three, uh, the three largest countries in the area, uh, plus uh, Central America and a lot of the island populations. As we move south to South America, uh, the total for that uh, continent is 4.2 trillion. If we continue to move across uh, to Africa, the, the purple area, 2.9 trillion for the, the giant continent of Africa, a massive uh, area. If we look at uh, the European countries uh, designated in blue, uh, 23.5 trillion is their global, the summation of their global domestic products all aggregated together. Um, and then Asia, made up of uh, some of the largest countries by population, including India and China, um, the largest land by land country, Russia. All of those together, this large area makes up just over $40 trillion. And then moving down to uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, and a number of other island countries, you can see $2 trillion falls into that red area in the lower right-hand side of your screen. Overall, in 2023, looking at IMF data, uh, the total economy is 104 trillion. So the percentages of each area would be slightly different, slightly lower than the uh, dollar value. These are all US dollar equivalents across the map. The G7 economies, you can see these on, on the map. You have Canada with 2.1 trillion in the upper left in the gray. Uh, the U.S. at 27.4 trillion. This is based off of IMF numbers from 2023. As we look at some of the maps, you'll see how these numbers uh, may vary based on the year uh, and based on the, the data source. But you can see that uh, those are two of the G7. If we look across, you can see the orange $3.3 trillion USD equivalent is Great Britain. Uh, just below that is France with $3 trillion. Italy, if we move across with the yellow boot-shaped country, 2.3 trillion. And then we can see Germany with around 4.5 trillion in economic activity in the center. And if we move towards the east, you can see Japan equivalent of 4.2 trillion dollars US, shown in the red on the right-hand side of your screen. So that's uh, the total economy of the world is about 104 trillion at this time frame. And if you look at the G7 economies, it makes up 44.7%. So just under 45% of the GDP uh, comes from just these seven countries, uh, $46.8 trillion. Now shifting to the G7 economies as a percentage, these are all percentages off of uh, other G7 countries, or the total of the G7 economies. You can notice a couple of things, almost 10% for Germany at 9.5% in the purple and 9% for Japan. Uh, the U.S. makes up 58.5% of the G7 economies. Uh, you can see the other percentages uh, uh, from the U.K. at 7.1%, France 65 and Italy coming in at just under 5% of the G7. So the total GDP of the G7 economies, $46.8 in 2023 numbers. So let's look at G20. We're expanding our horizon a little bit. So same numbers in North America uh, for Canada and the US, 2.1 trillion, 27.4 trillion. On the left-hand side, you move down to Mexico, 1.8 trillion. So Canada and Mexico are uh, fairly close in size in uh, North America. If we move down to South America, we can see Brazil at 2.2 trillion. And then below them, Argentina at 0.7 trillion or 700 billion in uh, total GDP 
in 2023. This is according to the IMF. We'll look over to Europe, which is we have the the EU region uh, shown in blue. We have that called out at the top as 18.3 trillion. So those are those countries in blue. Uh, don't double count them, but just look at the total at the top in black. The blues are highlighting some of the, the countries there. And then you can see based on this particular data, we're looking at 3.3 trillion for the UK, the green island there to the right of, of Ireland. Uh, if we move across, you can see two, 2 trillion for uh, Russia. And if we move down the lower left side, you can see Turkey um, at 1.1 trillion straddling uh, Europe and Asia. Uh, and then if we continue to move around, you can see uh, countries like uh, China, 17.7 trillion, the second largest economy in the world. And then 4.2 trillion Japan on the right hand side and South Korea just to the left of that. As we look across the, the globe, you can see a couple of things that you might want to note for scale. If we look at Canada, 2.1 trillion, Mexico, 1.8 trillion, Brazil, 2.2 trillion, Italy, 2.3 trillion, Russia, 2 trillion, uh, South Korea, 1.7 trillion, uh, you know, continuing to move around. You got Saudi Arabia at 1.1. But if you look at the next country, Australia, at 1.7 trillion. These are all countries between 1.7 trillion and 2.1 trillion or 2.2 trillion, all relative size. That can be very useful to understand how these uh, economies relate one to another from a size perspective. This makes up the G20 economies. Total, it's just over $90 trillion. So out of 104 trillion, 90 trillion is made up in this area. 86.5% of global GDP according to the numbers provided by IMF. This concludes the global GDP look. Thanks for watching.